Hello friends, welcome to chintandata.com. Today's our topic is Firebase Threats Reporting. Open your browser and type firebase.google.com. Firebase is a cloud service provider which gives you the tools and the infrastructure needs to build better apps and grow successful businesses. There are a number of features available in Firebase like real-time database, authentication, messaging, storage, hosting, test labs, crash reporting and many more. So among all of these features, we are going to learn about crash reporting. First click on go to console button, create a new project. You can give any project name here. Select your region, click on create project. In this console, click on add Firebase to your Android app. This will ask you for package name. Open your project's manifest file and copy your package name and paste it in dialog. If you wish to give any nickname to your application, you can give that. Also SHA-1 which is required for dynamic links and Google signing. We are leaving those fields blank right now. Click on add app button. This will configure your project and generate a google services.json file. You simply need to save it in your device. Click on android button and select project option there. Select app and right click there. Select paste option here. This will add google services.json file in your application. Next step is to add plugin. Open application gradle file and paste this dependency. After that, open your module gradle file and paste plugin tags at bottom of the file. Remember that pasting it at the bottom of the file will only work. Now we are required to integrate Firebase crash reporting. Click on crash reporting and select install SDK. Copy library dependency and paste it in our module gradle file. Click on sync now button to download all the dependencies. Now I am creating a layout where there will be three buttons and a text view. When first button is clicked, we will examine null pointer exception. For the second button, we will examine error index out of bound exception. And for the third button, we will examine custom exception. First two are fatal exception, where third one is non-fatal exception. Fatal exceptions are those which are not handled by your application and it terminate application immediately. While non-fatal exceptions are handled by user. Come back to the activity class, declare text you and three buttons here. We are not going to initialize text view as we want to generate exception on it. Now map all those three buttons. For first button, add click listener and when user clicks on this button, 
We will try to change the text of text view. But as text view is not in slice, it will fire null pointer exception. For second button, add click listener. And when user clicks on this button, we will throw an array index out of bound exception. For third button, add click listener. And when user click on this button, we will check whether text view is initialized or not. If not, it will report a custom exception. We will also add toast message so that we can identify exception is reported. Now run this application. Click on first or second button. This will crash your application and show you unfortunately application has stopped. Check Firebase console for crashes. Generally it takes 2-3 to three minutes to display reported errors at console. Due to two time crash, Firebase has registered two error reports. Here you will find two errors and two clusters. Errors can be multiple but cluster is like consolidation of the errors. It will group similar kind of stack trace errors. Select null pointer exception error and it will show you detailed analysis of the crash. Here you can see that first it is showing a full stack trace of the crash. You can see that crash is at line number 29 of my activity class. There are other important informations available regarding user data, performance data and device information. Among these, device information is very much important as it has API level, device model, application code and etc. Now select array index out of bound error. You can see that crash is at line number 37 of my activity class. Click on view details for detailed analysis. When you click on third button, application won't crash but it will report an exception and show your message. Check Firebase console. You can see that java.lang.exception is reported and it is non-fatal. Check that report and you will find press at line number 45. So in this tutorial, you learned how to integrate Firebase crash reporting and how to check those reports on console. Don't forget to visit my blog chintan.ho.com for more tutorials. Thanks for watching and keep sharing.